What's up guys, Salimify here. In today's video, well, we already did a single core benchmark test in Snebench R23. This time we are gonna do the multi-core because uh, I, I wanted to make them both together but it will take probably much time so I decided to make them separate video. This time we are gonna make the multi-core uh, benchmark test. Uh, like, I already did the test, I'm just gonna show you the recording and the results obviously. And yeah, before going to that, uh, you can check our contents. We have like cooking, uh, technology, art and gaming contents. And you can check them like uh, in the end of the video, in the description tab, also in the channel uh, playlist section, you can find them there. And yeah, uh, other than that, if you guys find the videos helpful to yourself, uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe button guys and comment down below the video if you have anything to say. And yeah, let's roll on with the video. Okay, so I hope you guys can see it easily. Now before the test starts, uh, as I mentioned, I usually do my tests uh, without using any background task apps. Like I know I can maybe screen record, but I don't want to uh, like make the CPU do anything other than uh, the uh, benchmark. So that's why I use my phone camera. Maybe quality uh, might be look not good but i will i'm trying to uh, help you guys as much as i can to uh, like if you can't see anything much detail i will see them uh, much detailed in here so yeah other than that uh, i uh, like the ram is stock uh, like uh, 16r which is like the slow ram and uh, like everything is stock basically i only overclocked the uh, gpo from uh, nvidia boost and uh, bios uh, i also uh, enable the overclock mode in BIOS, but it is not uh, affecting in CPU task. It's just for GPU because it's like mainly CPU thing. And yeah, let's start with the multi-core test. And yes, um, okay, yeah. Now we need to accept the software license for uh, starting with benchmark. You can find it in the website, and obviously you can find it in Microsoft Store. Apparently, once you click Snebench search snap engine you can just find it download there as well i recommend you try from the website because it's like easy you just need to extract the document from there and yeah it starts wow yeah as you guys can see uh once we do the multi-core test uh like there are more boxes because there are like more cpus are working in background like uh, once we did the single core test uh, what happened they only one core was moving and it was much slower than this and i think this video might be slower like quicker than the other one uh, i think yeah and uh, after the test finishes it's gonna sh uh, show our result in the like in the uh, I, I guess left corner <laughs> i'm not really sure but it, it will show you uh, like there are like popular cpus there and it will show you right there and yeah oh my god look at that speed wow that is so fast and i think uh, instead of doing i think two tests because last time i think it did two tests and this time it's gonna do 10 tests to uh, complete itself and yes we already in the last i mean uh, like the fourth fourth rank which is like like below the thread ripper i see why we are below the thread ripper because it has like freaking 16 cores and <laughs> 38 threads like what the heck it is like same course as my ram like that's insane and i see like uh, the more cores the stuff have the better they complete because uh, like you can see from the thread ripper uh, 2990 wx is first and it has like 32 cores and 64 threads oh my god that's a lot of cores man <laughs> oh my god yeah and we are in the fourth uh, like place that's really good actually and uh, i think we are gonna get between 9000 and uh, below 16000 score i'm not sure how much we are gonna get i didn't really check the results of it but uh like other than i, I already see the results but i i like it, it was really quick i didn't uh, see like detailed and yeah now yeah you can see it's like moving much faster i see like people uh i think watching uh just the one they want to see the result they don't even listen my talking maybe i don't know if they are doing my like if they are listening my talking too while in the video i guess uh, good for them <laughs> because they are not really missing a lot of stuff anyway um yeah 
<laughs> and the fans are getting louder than the previous test. I forgot to mention that in the single core test, the fans are not even uh, forcing that much. But when you s once you use fu full all of the cores in one uh, test, like the fans are kicking in and it's like getting loud, I guess. Like it's pretty normal because it's using all eight cores. And yeah, the CPU is already showing in the left side, but if you guys uh, can't see it clearly, I can help you. It's like Ryzen 5800H, which is eight core, 16 thread CPU. It, it is good for multi, uh, like co content creation and like multitasking, I guess. And yeah. And the laptop is obviously Lenovo Legion 5 Pro if you guys already like check out the uh, thumbnail like that that would help definitely because that's how you guys probably enter here and yes oh my goodness look at that speed man that's insane like like it, it has to do the 10 test but uh, like the speed is r really much faster than the single core and uh, like I think we are gonna definitely get like very high score from this one because this is usually what AMD CPUs are much uh, like reliable upon. Let's say like if you have a really uh, like budget CPU Intel device, you usually get like higher single core, but usually like less multi core. But this time it is like other because last time, as you guys can see, uh, the ones that we get from the four core eight threads, like right now they are in the downside because they don't have extra cores that's why maybe they are like lower but in the single core they were they were actually higher than ours which is like i guess because of 11th gen maybe i don't know and yeah uh, guys by the way you can also show me your results so i can see like what cpu you are using and like how good how bad it is like you can compare how many scores you guys get and how many scores i get i think Jarrod Tech get like uh, in the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro video somewhere between 12k like I can't really remember clearly but I think it was like that that range and I, I feel like I'm gonna also get the same range but I don't know how much like maybe between to maybe 10, 10k maybe 11k I don't know and yes we are about to finish the fifth test I guess yeah random pass five Oh my god, and fans are definitely loud. Yeah, th this is actually really interesting. And yeah guys, once you install the app, all you need to do just... Uh, is if you guys can see from the top left corner, there is like multi-core and single core and th there's like start stop button. Once you click the start button, it actually starts the test and that is like what you... what I'm looking at right now, you, you definitely gonna see after you press the start button and that's pretty much it very easy uh, to benchmark it I guess and yes like I want to try all of the benchmark tests uh, as much as I can to see like uh, the like which which results are much better which results are not obviously it is doing its job well in Photoshop and other stuff and like I, I, I don't really complain about that at all it's like very very decent CPU and uh, good GPU with RTX 3060. We also did like uh, GPU benchmark. I think heaven heaven benchmark. Yeah, uh, it's in the previous videos, so you can you guys can also watch that as well. It it was like uh, I overclocked the GPU. Like that's why maybe uh, it is getting higher scores. I don't know, but yeah, that's really uh, how good it is. But the, the bad thing about this test is I can't really test, the, like I can't see the temperatures inside the app. I need to check the task manager or other stuff, but I didn't really want to do that because I didn't want to really destroy the purpose of using the, uh, like something without any background task is including that. That's why uh, I wanted to make sure that we are doing everything. Uh, only, only the focus of the CPU is like this application. Other than that, everything is closed. Okay, yeah, it says like we have three minutes left to finish, I guess. And yeah, guys, also you can comment down your ideas like what should I test? Uh, I, I mean, maybe you guys maybe say like, bro, why don't you try gaming? Like, why don't you try like new titles? Guys, uh, like if I try to do that, like I know installing them a lot of 
uh, time consuming and trying to playing them as well. I'm not really a pro player like RTX Tyrell. You guys probably know some of them. Maybe subscribe to his channel. He's like pretty legend, man. And yeah, like I I don't have that much experience with uh, eSport titles and. I, if I do, I probably choose the ones that game has the option to benchmark and that's pretty much it. Like, uh, maybe I would do a gameplay video, but uh, that is not really be like very amusing, you know. It's like, I maybe suck, I maybe like die in the first game, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, like look at that, how fast this competing, <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I remember like in our first test, I think it take like... 19 minutes or something like that like you guys can uh, check from the video recording time when i start and when i stop like you can find like exact time but i think that video at least like either 18 or maybe 19 minutes it take for single core but i don't know how long th this time will it take for this one because it is now doing 10 times uh, not 10 times like 10 tests and it, it in the single core it T did like three tests I guess no two two yeah but yeah obviously it was very slow and yeah guys by the way uh, my uh, laptop charger is not 300 watts it is like 230 watts so uh, maybe that's why uh, like uh, performance maybe differ uh, from the charger I get because sometimes it is better to have like 30 watt charger but it, it, it's probably mu much heavier than the ones I use mine is like quite light and like you can easily put it uh, inside your bag and it like uh, reduces the uh, like weight a little bit than the 300 bricks I guess 300 watt brick but the performance is I think much significant than uh, the uh, 300 watts one because obviously it is like I think 60 watt more energy but obviously, like, it's huge. <laughs> That's the only drawback, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah. It seems like it's gonna end. Yeah, it's, it's in the last test, guys, right now. It's about the end, and we are gonna see once the test ends, we are gonna see in the left corner which score we are gonna get. And obviously, that is the, like, purpose of the video. Like, uh, I think in, in either 10 seconds or 15 seconds, okay. Uh, okay, come on, you can do it, I believe in you. You are a very good CPU, I'm proud of you. Okay, 3, 2, 1, and come on, yes. Okay, uh, there's our score, I'm gonna uh, pause once I get close to the score. Okay, yeah, we get like... Uh, 12,578 points. Wow, that's really good actually. Like, uh, like we reached actually 10k, which is really good. And I'm gonna see, like, uh, what was the okay. Obviously, I'm using Windows 10, don't judge me. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, let me check. So, okay, we are actually reaching to a same per like multi core score of a thread ripper, which is like like 16 cores and 32 threads. That's like obviously it's like 40 4, points e much higher than ours but it is still something to be proud of i guess <laughs> and uh, yeah we are like our uh, cpu is much better than i9 900 880 h oh my goodness man like it is not overclockable but it's a I, i'm pretty sure like i9 is supposed to be like higher uh, than like you know uh, like their superior uh, cpus like uh, like let's say like last uh, last performance section they are in like last class final class but yours are like usually i mean generation is also important that's the like big role in here but like it's i9 don't forget that <laughs> okay uh so okay amd ryzen 7 1700x it it has also eight cores and 16 threads apparently it gets like I guess 2000 points less than ours. Xeon CPUs are also way lower. So yeah, I, I'm pretty sure these are like uh, desktop CPUs, which is like usually they are much stronger, much uh, like powerful than laptop CPUs, obviously. But 
not in the benchmark it seems like uh, i guess maybe some of them you can tweak settings and maybe increase the performance since in laptops you are usually locked with that and yeah uh, obviously the four core uh, in the i think 11 i think that's an ultrabook cpu i'm pretty sure like 11th gen 65 g7 uh, they are like way behind than ours because uh, it, like their score var, was actually much better than in the like in signi like in single core test they, they're like much superior than our, like our I guess like we were in th third place in first score I can't really remember I think second place no I can't really remember clearly anyway yeah we actually did like really good uh, for that we we get like fourth fourth stage like that's a good spot to get like we are comp competing against like desktop c uh, cpus which is like very uh, something to be proud of i guess and let me just go to the end of the video and let me see and i guess yeah cooling also a major important while making this test because uh sometimes they also throttle that's also decreases the performance and yeah okay yeah guys like like the <laughs> like the button guys and yeah okay uh yeah that was a really good test like that that's definitely much quicker than the other one now i don't know how long does it take so like i uh, maybe you guys check uh, the video duration and you can find out for yourself how long does it take to complete the test obviously it says like 11 uh, 39 but uh, 36 i guess uh, maybe 10 minutes or maybe less than that i don't know anyway yeah so yeah guys that was the video if you guys obviously enjoyed uh hit like and subscribe button and comment down below with you if you have anything to say and yeah other than that today we made lenovo legion 5 pro uh cinebench r23 stingray white uh well lenovo legion 5 pro stingray white uh multi-core test like last time we did single core and this time multi-core and yes that was the video and hopefully see you guys later in another video and bye guys See you.